Although the deck plans say 10 by 32, it grew to 12 by 32 just before construction started. Okay, here's the plastic going down. Next is the stone. Here we're laying out the guide strings for the cement piers, making sure everything's nice and straight and square. And the materials are being delivered. Here are all the materials being delivered, starting with the heavy cement piers, which turned out to be about 80 pounds a piece. I'm sure glad they were delivered. Setting the 80 pound cement piers in place was a chore and the blocks were so heavy we had to go out and buy a two wheel dolly with pneumatic tires so we could roll them into position and then one by one we slowly got them level and pounded them in place with the rubber mallet get them nice and straight so we could then start on the wooden beams the next day. Here we're using my laser level to measure the depth of each of those cement piers and then we we're able to actually cut um, the actual post so that they'll all be exactly level and they'll be parallel with the house. After the cement piers were in and the posts, the next thing to be put in is the 2x10 carrying beams. And these we took our time and made sure everyone was perfectly level and attached with metal brackets to the posts. After all the 2x10 carrying beams were in place, we then installed a whole bunch of cross braces to stabilize it uh, left and right and make sure uh, that the beams could never tip one way or the other. This is how far we got after day two. Okay, now the fun part. We're starting to lay in the two by eight floor joists and we're letting one end um, fly free and we attach the end toward the house and then I go down, snap a line and cut them all square and add the very end piece. Uh, after that's done, we do all the blocking all the way down the whole deck. Here we are at the end of day three. All the floor joists are in. And we're ready for handrails tomorrow. And all the blocking's in. So far, so good. Now it's time to install all the posts for the handrails. 
Each one was meticulously attached with additional blocking to make sure it stays perfectly square and strong so it never becomes loose. Here's day four. We got all the handrails, or I should say the posts for the handrails all put in. That took a lot of time to get it nicely put in and all the posts exactly level as you can see straight down and we did a lot of blocking as you can see around the posts as you can see a lot of blocking around the posts so they're nice and sturdy Cheese. cheese 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 you like saying cheese when the camera's out don't you yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay now it's filming see that red button mm -hmm. it's filming okay. so now you just do your cinematic this is a test of your cinematic abilities so make me proud make me look good for a change would you <laughs> Here I'm notching a board that will become a custom made lattice support and we'll make a bunch of these go around the bottom of the deck. There we go. And that's what holds up or the lattice will attach to. Okay. We take this and put it under here. Line it up with my line, which is four feet. There we go. There we are. Nice and solid. Now we can attach the back of this. And we attach the lattice to that into here and then on down the rest okay I carefully laid out the treads the stringers and now I'm about to go cut them hopefully I measured and laid out accurately Now to cut out the final cut of the pieces. Okay, flip around. Come to me, Charlie. Come to me. Put it down. All right, because that end goes up. Don't let it fall. All right. Up. Let's just put it up against down. Your end down. Here we're preparing the ground to be perfectly level so that when the stairs rest on it, everything will come out nice and square and the steps will be perfectly level.
Now to work on the second set of steps that goes out front. They're very similar to the other set and we have to do all the same routine, get it perfectly level. Here we are, day five, and the stairs are in. The next thing to install is going to be the Trex decking. And hopefully if the weather holds, that'll be tomorrow. What a job, getting it nice and straight, just like they wanted. To make the Trex decking look really great on the ends, we did what I call a picture frame, which frames the entire deck on the outer edge with a piece of Trex, and then all the other pieces butt up against it, and it makes it look very neat and professional. Okay, here's Charlie putting the caps in. These are little plugs. Now he gets it just right. And he gets it, it just cool. right. He aligns the grain just right. And it completely disappears. Very cool. So we do all the holes, as you can see. And when you're done, you don't see a thing. Except for, you do see the chic. <laughs> the towels, because I'm already sunburned. Yeah. And here we go. We started the decking today. And <laughs> surprisingly, it's only five boards, which may not seem like a lot, but we did what we call the picture frame, as you can see around the edge of the deck so that the boards don't come right to the edge. They don't come right to the edge, they stay, stay back. We routered all the edges. As you can see, it's perfectly straight. And we did this picture frame all the way around the top of the deck to make it look good. And then we tried out a few of the posts and these little caps that just slide over the 4x4s. And that all seems to fit perfect. So that was a good start for today. Believe it or not, because we were in the middle of a heat wave, it took us four days to put down the Trex decking. The sun would come out and it would get so hot you couldn't even pick up the tools. So we would have to do five, six, eight boards and then have to quit for the day. And then we'd continue the next day. But after four days, it came out spectacular. Here, my wife Jenny is helping me cut the risers so that it will really make the steps look finished off nice. But we have to rip each riser piece, which is 5 eighths of an inch thick, to the exact right height to fit each step. Here, I'm routering the back side of the top riser to avoid the stair hanging metal brackets. Here, Jess and I are routering the ends of each stair tread, and Jenny is putting the caps in the risers that have been installed.
There you go. The hard way. In the shed, because it's raining out. I tell you, these are deplorable working conditions. What do you say, Mom? <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough. Huh? Yeah, we're not getting paid enough for this. We're old retirees. What's going on here? Now that all the decking's done, it's time to install the handrails, which are our beautiful vinyl with black pipes. And it's a meticulous process, but you just have to take your time and slowly get each one perfectly level. Now for a finishing touch, we install the lattice. It's a nice slow process, but the brackets are there. We just have to get everything cut perfect. And here's the deck. Basically finished with lattice on it. Solar lights on the top. Came out fantastic. Very pleased. Our granddaughter's thrilled the deck is complete.